platform for is to do exactly what you said is actually expose these kids and and I, I and I'm able to do what I love like, mm. you know with these people I'm a, I'm able to share what I love to do and you know it, when you do something that you love to do, it's not a job, you know, it's Ooh, just, dig that. you know, that's, that's, that's usually how I look at what I'm doing. Even when I'm on set, it's work, no doubt. I'm not going to lie to you, you know, um, because it's not just like, I got to get on this bike and ride. It's like, I have to get on this bike. I have to time myself. I have to be here at this certain point. It's going to be explosion. This wall is going to crumble down. Mm -hmm. This is going to blow up in my face. I need to move to the left and then get back in front of camera. So they catch it. So there's a lot of stuff just being a stunt performer. It ain't just about getting on the bike. It's not just about, you know, oh, I can do some willies and stuff because the willies and stuff is good. A lot of people always hit me up and they, they can ride willies and they can do tricks and stuff. And I'm like, that's good for, for, for a show. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing a, being a stunt performer, how many movies you see where they just doing willies the whole time? That's nah, right. You got to, you got to shoot, like pretend to shoot. You got to, you know, swerve around some shit. You still have to have, uh, very good bike control you have to have timing and you have to be professional you got to be on set when you're doing your stuff you doing it they ask they say action you do time to thing. go when they say cut you're done mm -hmm. you know you, you you do you might be doing one doing runs back and forth on one street when you go back to one you can't like going back to one is reset resetting for the next for the same shot or another shot you can't go do a stunt you can't do crazy stuff you can't go back wild and out you can't. You get all pumped up. Do this one thing, and then you gotta chill again. So it's a lot of waiting too, uh -huh. and you gotta think if you do if you do decide to do that stuff, someone can be resetting something, and somebody can be walking by with camera equipment, and you're going crazy on set, and you hit them. Like it, it's just so much, so many different things that you don't people don't really see behind the scenes when it comes to what happens within the you know the the, the film industry, and me knowing that and being a part of that for 17 years. It's just like all I did was change departments. Mm. You know, what I mean, I went from car prep to stunts. You wow. know, and and a lot of people are like amazed because they're like, "Where did you come from?" Like when I'm on set and how you know the set etiquette. You know, people mm -hmm. expect for me to be a certain way for one being black, two mm -hmm. just being a street rider, and three just you know not really understanding what and who I am, but like 80 to 90 percent of the time after a shoot they're like man you impressed me mm. and it's like because it ain't just with your skills but just everything the professionalism even i just did a shoot um you know this is the first shoot since the COVID thing mm. happened I did a shoot with the zero which is another electric bike company